Hello everyone and welcome to a very cold day and thank you so much for deciding to watch this video. It's very cold today, it's about minus four I believe at the moment and I think it's going to peak at about minus eight later in the evening once it gets darker so it's certainly a cold spell at the moment. In this video I'm going to be on my first shoot with the Nikon Z8. If you watched my previous video you'll have learned that probably about three weeks ago now I got a Z8, a couple of lenses and I talked about what I've bought and why and some of my future plans, some of my future purchases for the Z8. Today I would class this as my first official shoot with it. Um, previously I've taken quite a few photos, been out a few times, not too often, it's been the festive period, but it's very much been a case of testing the camera, getting it set up for my needs, uh, testing the lenses for sharpness and so on. But now all that's behind me, I'm familiar with the camera, so this is like my first official shoot in my mind. So I'm going to see what I can find. You'll see little bits of snow here and you're going to see quite a bit more probably as the video goes on. And uh, I also want to talk about some of my first impressions about the Z8 and some of the features and, and so on that I've found uh, very useful that have just caught my eye on the camera so far in the limited time I've had it. So let's move on and try and get the first photograph. So as I spoke about earlier, it's certainly freezing and you can probably see the signs of that in this beautiful scene behind me here. So I've got the water here which is completely frozen over. Uh, there was a layer of ice all over it when I arrived and then we've had some snow. So that snow has now settled on the top of the ice. Um, because there's been a little bit of wind, it's not too strong, but there is a little bit, it's blowing some of the snow on the surface of the ice and there's some really nice patterns. So I really like that. And then obviously in the foreground here, there are a couple of broken off parts of trees laying on top of the ice. Some of the snow around them is melting and one is pointing off nicely into the distance and we've got another one just beside it as well. Off in the distance some really nice hills and mountains covered in snow and we've got quite a moody sky as well. So I've got my tripod and the Z8 here positioned. All three tripod legs are pretty much on ice and I can hear the sound of the ice cracking all around me it's making some strange noises as well so quite a quite a clean simple image uh, a nice first landscape image of the day and uh, i'll show you it now It wasn't long before I was visited by a beautiful robin. I switched to my super telephoto lens and took this photograph. I never tire of photographing these beautiful small birds. So I'm just taking an uh, image here of this beautiful winter wonderland scene here again. Frosted water with snow on it and some really nice patterns on the, uh, the surface here. So I want to talk about uh, a number of features and a number of other things I like about the Nikon Z8. They're in no particular order but one that I'm using here is the viewfinder because there's a little bit of glare getting to the rear screen. But I've been really impressed with the quality of the viewfinder and also the rear screen. Uh, when I'm doing landscape photography or indeed wildlife photography, that's the two main things that I do. It's really important for me to be able to check the sharpness of my images after I've taken them. There's nothing worse than going home with an image that's uh, out of focus. 
and it's really really easy to do that with either the viewfinder or the rear screen they're extremely high quality very detailed very sharp to look at and the viewfinder is particularly pleasing uh, to use as well i frame up a lot of my compositions using the the viewfinder even though i'm on a tripod so i find that incredibly helpful it's also got a high fps mode for the viewfinder so i think it increases it to i believe 120 frames per second if i've got that wrong i'll, I'll correct it in the video but that's very useful for tracking moving wildlife and i've found the viewfinder a joy to use when i'm photographing wildlife uh, so yeah a couple of things that I really really like and yeah looking through I think this image is going to be not too bad so I'll show you that one and then move on. I forgot to mention that as a glasses wearer I found the Z8 camera to be very good in terms of being able to see the edges of the display through the viewfinder. With some cameras I have found that difficult. I'm aware that you can purchase different eye cups but out of the box this has been one of the best experiences that I've had. There's also a menu option which lets you reduce the viewfinder display size which makes seeing the full display even easier. So there's some really gentle snowfall at the moment. There's been some quite heavy showers of snow, but it sort of comes and goes. At the moment, they're just gently winding their way to the ground, the snowflakes that are falling. Anyway, another thing that uh, I really like about the Nikon Z8 is the level of customization and how I can configure the camera to suit my needs perfectly. So I do landscape photography and wildlife photography. And out of the box for my landscape photography, other than checking I was shooting in the raw file format, um, I could pretty much go out and be able to take landscape images. However, I did customise the, the camera, some of the buttons, what they do once I got more familiar with it. But when it comes to my wildlife photography, I really like to customise the camera, there's a lot of things I like quick access to and I really made a lot of changes uh, to what some of the buttons do and how the dials operate. So I've got two quite different setups for my landscape and wildlife photography. And what I really like is that in the menus, I think it's in the custom settings menu and the custom settings bank, I've got two set up. So A is for my uh, landscape photography, so when I come out today I just pick that and I know all the dials and buttons are set up exactly the way I want them for today. And then when I'm doing wildlife photography I just change the custom bank B, uh, which is for my wildlife, and then all the buttons and dials are configured exactly how I need them for that. So I just find that really, really useful. I'm not seeing other cameras can't do similar things. But yeah, I just like how it is set up on the Nikon Z8. So another really useful feature that uh, certainly caught my attention. So a bit more snow is falling. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice if we get some really heavy snow, but it's still beautiful to be out today. So I'm all set up for a shot here and I've already taken it very quickly but I think I may have missed uh, what were the best conditions. When I arrived there was some heavy snowfall and it was very atmospheric and that's what I was wanting to capture. It's a nice woodland scene, there's a path leading off into the distance and there's three groups of rocks with a little bit of snow on them so it could have made for a good shot, it's still okay but the conditions are definitely changing. There's just a few very light snowflakes and the sun is starting to make an appearance. So I don't think I got this the way I wanted it. But anyway, another feature of the Z8 which leapt out at me as soon as I started to use it is just how responsive the autofocus is and also how accurate it's been for me so far. Uh, in terms of, say, landscape photography, if I've needed to grab a shot quickly, the autofocus hasn't let me down. And if, I, if I've needed to do some focus stacking, so focusing on perhaps two or three different points in my image, 
every time I hit the button to, to get the autofocus working, it's locked on very quickly and very accurately. And that's something that uh, is a very welcome bonus with this camera because you don't want your camera to be missing uh, autofocus, uh, not focusing correctly at crucial moments. I've only had it three weeks, as I talked about earlier, but I have done wildlife photography a few times. Mostly, as I said earlier as well, it's to get used to the camera, find out how I want to configure it, testing the autofocus, changing autofocus settings and so on. But I've been really impressed with the autofocus as well for wildlife photography. I need to do much more of it. You can't speak about a year's experience with a camera having only had it three weeks, but I've been out doing wildlife a good few times, perhaps three so far, and for a good few hours each time, and it's been fantastic. So I'm really pleased with the autofocus. It's very responsive, and that's something I've noticed about the camera as a whole. When you're going through the menu system or changing things or even touching the rear screen, everything is very responsive and quick. So that's something I've really noticed about the Z8 so far. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the shot I wanted here. I'll wait around a little bit longer just in case the snow comes on and then I'll move on. So the last, I would say, 30 minutes have really been incredible. I waited about 15 minutes back at the scene that I talked about, hoping for a blizzard of snow, and nothing happened. It looked like the sun was going to come out and it was clearing. So I moved on about 10 minutes away from there. A blizzard came. It was absolutely fantastic. The whole woodland was just so atmospheric. And I've captured, I think, an image that I'm really pleased with. So I'll show you that in just a second after I finish this section. At the moment, the snow has cleared. There's not any falling at the moment. The sun is trying to come out. And all I can hear around me is the, the noise of cracking ice. But I think I'm in solid ground, so I feel okay about that. So on to the next thing that I want to talk about, the Nikon Z8. And uh, something that I really like about it and I noticed is obviously the image quality. Uh, buying a camera at this price, partner with some good lenses, you're going to expect good image quality. But I would say it's even slightly exceeded my expectations. I think I've bought a couple of good lenses. I talked about that in my previous video. And the images are fantastic. They're incredibly detailed. I don't pixel peep, but I do like to look at my images at 100%. Uh, if I've been out somewhere that's really resonated with me or I've been taking some wildlife, I like to look at the, the detail in my images as well as looking at the image as a whole. And uh, They're really nice to look at in a computer. They're really nice to edit. I like the colours that the, the camera is producing and uh, there's plenty dynamic range as you would expect. So I'm really, really pleased with the overall image quality. And I talked in my previous video about my expectations or initial thoughts on build quality and so on. And I think the camera is really well made. The more I use it, the more I think that. And as you'll see in a minute, it's been enduring some quite tough conditions today and uh, putting it through its paces and it's still been working very well. So overall, to sum up my thoughts on this camera, I can only speak from three weeks of experience, but I really love it. There's absolutely nothing I don't like about it, bar one tiny little thing, and it's not the end of the world by any means. But as you're holding the camera, pointing it at a scene, down at the bottom left is a button, uh, which is used to change your AF mode or your focus mode so you can go from single autofocus to continuous uh, autofocus and so on and you can change your AF area as well. 
and it works fantastic if i'm using a small lens and the lens is light and my hand is close to the camera body i can operate that button if i'm on a tripod it's perfect i can use the left hand hold it in and then rotate the the command dial to change the af settings absolutely perfect the only drawback I've noticed so far is when I'm using my super telephoto lens, especially for wildlife. If I'm holding the camera body, and apologies I can't demonstrate this thing, my camera was covered in snow so I cleaned it and just put it away. But if I'm holding the camera body and I've got a long super telephoto lens, my left hand is quite a distance from the camera body and it's operating the zoom ring. Uh, it can be manual focus, there's a control ring, there's a number of function buttons, lots of buttons in my lens. So I'm holding it like that and it's very difficult to reach that button to change your AF modes. And I, if I keep my left hand further away from the camera body, it's giving good access to everything that I need on the lens. As soon as I put it back here, your hands out of position for the other buttons it's a bit awkward and you could potentially miss some images the other issue is holding a super telephoto lens like that looking through the viewfinder i don't want to take my hand off that lens and put excessive strain on the lens mount so it's a minor minor thing i've been able to reassign what that button does to some other buttons that i can access with my right hand so it's not a problem but if only that button had been perhaps over at the right hand side of the camera body as you look through the viewfinder and i could maybe have used it with my small finger or something it would have been much more useful when changing af settings for say wildlife photography with a large lens on but as I say, I can do that things with another button and it's really useful if it's on a tripod or with a small lens, it's not a problem. But everything can't be perfect and that truly is the only negative and it's a minor one that I've seen in three weeks or so that I've worn the Nikon Z8. So anyway, yeah, I think it's time to head off from this beautiful winter wonderland. I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned because I'm about to show you my last image. There was some spectacular snow at that time, so I really hope it's turned out as good as I think it will. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. So today I'm out to do something which I'm really, really excited about, but also a little bit apprehensive. I think it's escaped unscathed. So I'm really pleased about that. Let me show you what I'm seeing here. <laughs> 